Hey, how's it going guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we're looking at the Face Off Hulk. After I did the comparative Hulk review, somebody said they wanted to see a review of this guy, so here it is. There are two versions, there's this one and then there's the variant which has the open mouth, at least I think that one was the variant. Could have been the other way around, but either way, this one and open mouth. I don't have the open mouth because I didn't feel like buying it, so I only have this one to show you. It's an okay figure, I do have some serious gripes with it but it's definitely okay as a stand-in for Hulk uh, in any display I would say it's got enough of a realistic look to be an Avengers figure obviously doesn't match the movie but it doesn't look like it couldn't fit in a movie and it's comic enough to fit in with comic figures so it's pretty cool it's got a really nice sculpt work in the torso all of the musculature is pretty good pretty organic looking so that's nice the way they built the figure is pretty good at least for the shoulders because they don't stick out, they're not real bulbous, they're kind of seamless, so that's nice. It impedes the articulation though. And then the same thing is can be said about the ankles is it's relatively seamless. I mean you can see the lines, but there's no awkward looking joints. But they're also not very effective, so I don't care for that. And then if you look, can I zoom out anymore? Let's see, not too much. He's got really long legs and kind of a peanut head, just kind of awkward proportioning. So I don't really care for that a whole lot. That's one of my bigger complaints. Of course he doesn't have an ab crunch. You can see that. I don't really mind because you don't really need to put Hulk in too many dynamic poses, so that's okay. As far as other articulation, his head is on a uh, disc with a swivel. So the swivel's there. The disc is fairly limited because they have his neck sticking more forward than up. So it's pretty limited. Ball hinge shoulders, but like I said, due to that nice uh, design, it looks good, but it's fairly limited, so that's not the best situation. And it looks like in the camera they're pretty much different colors than the torso. It's not like that in per in real life. Probably different plastics, and they're catching the light differently for the camera. He's got a uh, what is that called? A swivel? Gosh, I can't talk tonight. A bicep swivel, single jointed elbow. Pretty stiff, but it is there. He has a wrist swivel, a wrist pivot, and another pivot in the hands, which I don't like, because his hands, it looks okay when it's open. It's still kind of awkward looking though. Kind of like, they look like toes, kind of. I don't know, it's weird. And then, of course, the hinge is useless, because if you do that, he just looks like he has broken fingers. And this hand is completely open, so he can face palm, but the articulation's useless, and they still look kind of like giant sausage toes. I don't know, it looks weird. So whatever. Waist swivel, T-jointed hips, so that's a good thing, but they're fairly limited as well. There's a thigh swivel, a single jointed knee, and there's an ankle pivot. My lighting's freaking out again. Okay, there's an ankle pivot, an awkward looking, not awkward looking, a unique looking ankle rocker, which is actually a decent design. I mean, engineeringly speaking, it's an okay design, but it's fairly limited. It's okay, I guess. And then he has a toe joint. Um, they didn't stick with any of this articulation in the ankle for any other figure, so I guess they didn't like it as much as I don't really care for it. So it's okay. Like I said, it's a decent Hulk figure, but it's not probably my go-to Hulk figure. It's just, it's just, I mean, a lot of people like it, but for me, there are better ones, even if they're more comic looking. This one's good, but it's not as good as it should be. I don't know. I'm kind of talking in circles, so I'm going to call it a Call it a day on this review. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.